In today's video, I'm going to be giving my review of the C-Line Clear Adhere laminating film in comparison to the Scotch laminate that I've been using in the past. Right off the bat, you can tell that it is significantly longer. It's uh, 24 inches by 600 inches, so that's 50 feet versus um, a 16 inch 10 foot roll. This right here cost me $22 and change off of Amazon. This I purchased for right around $50. And so you can see that this would be the clear advantage on prices if I were to go with this. I figured I'd take a risk because that just got too expensive, especially when um, I'm trying to keep my costs low on my projects. But right off the bat, I can tell this is just a little bit thinner but um, the main objective for the laminating process is to, number one, add a little bit of um, water resistance, water repellent, in addition to the wax coating that the label typically has on it anyway. But also, since I try to um, arrange my labels differently than having them secured uh, just from a normal box, the way they come, by laminating them, it kind of seals all these seams so that I don't have to worry about any peeling or anything coming up. So what I'm going to do is get some spray adhesive, which I always preach to use the Super 77. Just put a coat of that um, on the poster board and then under here, and I'll get this laid out. And then I'm going to cut some of the laminate to probably 16 by 17 inches to cover this and lay it on and we'll see how it comes out. Okay, so now that I've got the label um, put onto the poster board with the spray adhesive, one additional step that I do prior to putting the laminate on is number one, taking maybe some sprayway glass cleaner or just uh, a non-ammonia based cleaner and getting any residual dirt or maybe contaminants or even overspray from the spray adhesive off of this so that's nice and clean. And then I'll take a strip of scotch tape and mask over this seam right here and this seam right here. And that's because on the crown of the hat, which I've said this before, where it bends right here and also right here, which of course this isn't going to be a problem because that's all one piece of poster board. But right here where these two seams meet, um, it could tend to allow that... Um, it could tend to allow that laminate to split and separate right there. So by adding a little bit of tape to this hinge, basically, it allows it to be a little bit beefier and will be less likely to split and then therefore um, save you from having to doctor up a finished product. Okay, so now I'm noticing that with this being 24 inches wide, I am going to have a lot of excess material left over in uh, comparison to this scotch where with it being 16 inches, that is exactly how wide my template or the uh, crown of the hat actually is. So I'm going to cut out a 16 by 17 inch square, which this is actually 18 inches long but I don't need the laminate to go all the way to the end. So I can probably save a little bit in the end, the long run, by saving an inch per, per uh, crown that I make. So what I'm gonna do here is cut out a 16 by 17 and then um, lay it down on, onto my cutting mat and peel it and lay it on there and we'll see how well it sticks. One thing I do notice right away is this this material has a little bit of a haze to it in comparison to the 3M brand, the Scotch brand. It's a little bit more clear and transparent, but we're going to see after I get this put down on there and use my seam roller to press it out to see if, uh, if the fogginess is still uh, apparent or if it goes away.
And also to give you an idea why I went ahead and cut out these corners and sections like this is so that um, we can make a, an incision right here and wrap around the poster board so that there's not any open seams right here. Everything will be wrapped and it will also help protect this uh, bare poster board if uh, in the case of you know sweating or whatever this will help protect this poster board on the inside as well. Well I can tell you 100% first impressions the haziness did go away. You can kind of see, I don't know if my camera will pick it up, there's a little bit of haziness through here. But as it gets rolled out onto the, the beer box, it goes away. It's pretty impressive. I really want this stuff to work because it, it is significantly cheaper than the 3M. And I've got zero air bubbles, and that's impressive also because you don't want to have any air bubbles in your artwork. They're difficult to get out and if you do have to get them out it will require a pinhole which will defeat the whole purpose of doing this process. There. So that one's sealed all the way up and then when this folds over and meets onto there, you don't have to worry about any water getting in between those seams. So um, we'll get the hot, gu hot glue gun out and uh, put her together. But so far, so good. I'm, I'm happy with the way that the laminate has laid on, onto the label. And uh, it's going to be a promising addition to the materials that I use because with the 3M, I can, give, I can do about three hats. Well, three and maybe an additional crown or additional brim out of one roll. So it comes out to be in um, $7, $8 per hat with just this laminate roll. But with having 50 feet of the other one at a fraction, you know, a lot less of the cost, hopefully I can do it for maybe $5 per hat. And that will definitely increase my profit margin. So yeah, I'll put this together and show you guys the result. So with the crown all put together, this is what it looks like. You can see I added the eyelets to help keep these uh, ears taped down because there's a lot of force that wants to kind of pull away from the hat. And by adding these eyelets in here, it does secure it to uh, the other portion of the panel and keeps it from pulling away, which of course, once the, the brim gets put on top of this crown, it will help hold everything together also. But yeah, the next step is gonna be um, making a design for the top brim and the bottom brim. And I've got these uh, leftover bottle boxes that uh, I'll arrange and lay that out in uh, an attractive way, I hope. And uh, so stick around for that. I don't know if I'll post a video on it or not, but I will show this final product on my Etsy shop if you wanna see it there. And uh, if you'd like to help out, please give me a thumbs up and or hit me up in a message and maybe you can send me some boxes and keep these projects going. And uh, we'll see you next time.